Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Simple Car Guy channel. Today we're filming my BMW Z4 and some of the hidden features that you may not know about this car. First, and I think the coolest feature is that you can open the roof with the remote. So you just walk up to the car, hold the unlock button, and wait for the magic to start. You have to hold the button at all times. Sorry about the planes. And you will even put up the glass. Now, after only about 30 seconds, the roof is off. The car is ready to be driven as a convertible, which I find really amazing. You know, if it was summer and not December like it is right now, you can just hop in, it's not gonna be as hot anymore, all the hot air is gonna escape, and you're ready to roll. I use this feature a lot, especially, you know, you're coming out of work, uh, you might wanna just kinda talk to your friends or whatever, stand outside of the car, you can open the roof, show off a little bit, let's be honest, and have a, uh, have a convertible ready to go. The best part about this is that you can actually put the roof back up and lock the car just using your key. This is amazing when it starts raining or snowing or whatever it might be and you need to close the roof quick without having to get in the car start the car and all that process so you just press the lock button and hold Now, I stop here for a reason. As you can see, without me doing anything, the roof will just go down. That's my second hidden feature. So if you ever don't finish closing the roof or leave it half open, it will actually lower itself instead of being held in that position. So if we go the other way, see if it's gonna work. We're gonna leave it in that position. This will take a little bit longer, but it also is going to go down. So it's not that it can't hold it or anything like that, because it will hold the roof. It does it for safety feature. So that's another hidden feature that I didn't know about until I got this car. And with a little bit of background, I've had this car for a little over six months. I've driven it in the summer for a few months as well. I rebuilt the engine on it. Actually, I replaced the engine on it. Um, this is my winter setup, so I have um the old wheels so the wheels that came on the car the 17th i've already bought and installed uh m4 or m uh, 437m wheels on this car um so check out those videos uh i really really love this car so i can't recommend it enough you know especially if you have another car to drive in the winter this is perfect i actually use it as a daily driver and i definitely don't regret it and yes if you keep holding the lock button it will close the windows as well The next hidden item, or more like hidden in plain view, is this little storage compartment. This actually opens up and you have some space in here for maybe your tools or whatever else you want to put in there. You might think, why wouldn't you think that that's a storage compartment? How is that a hidden feature? Well, if you look on this side, it looks exactly the same, but nothing opens. This is just a fixed uh, body piece in here. So yeah, hidden feature. Just learned about this last week. Now there are a couple things interesting with the gas cap. Obviously, when the car is locked, it's also locked, so you cannot open it even by pressing or anything like that. So your car has to be unlocked, and then it opens up. But uh, the cool thing about this car is that you see this little green thing in here. A lot of people don't know that what it's for is that you put your gas cap in there so it doesn't dangle around and scratch the paint on your car. Uh, Yes, mine has broken off and I'm going to fix that soon, but that's what it's for. Make sure it clicks when you close it as well. Another really cool hidden feature that I enjoy in this car is that you can't lock your key fob in the car. So as you can see, I have left my key in the middle of the center console. 
Now I'm going to try to lock the car. And as you can see, the car unlocks itself without me having to do anything. This tells you that the key is actually inside the car, so it locks and unlocks. This is a very helpful feature, so especially with a top down, you know, when you're, uh, you're running late or something, you can leave your key in the center console, or maybe if it falls under the seat, you wouldn't know that you've left the key inside the car, just lock it and leave that, you know, somebody can steal your car, or even when you come back, you don't want to go in and reach for the key, the alarm will go off, it's just not a good situation. So I think that's really cool that BMW has thought of that. The last item on my list is the hidden menu. So what you're going to do is press start, then you're going to press the trip reset button and hold it. Keep Okay, now we're the actual menu. Uh, the first items are probably not very useful to you, so we're gonna kind of skip over those. We're gonna get to 1.00, press and hold again. Now once you see that line, let me do that again, once you see that line, press again quickly and you're gonna go to different subset of menus. So there's a lot of those in here. Uh, we can try a menu such as, let's say, let's go back to number two. Let go. Press one more time. And now we're going to do the instrument cluster test. So as you can see, uh, everything is moving. Everything's being tested. All the lights, the brightness on the screen the gradient of the screen, the whole thing. So that's pretty cool, I really like that one. Of course, it's only a very small part of the menu. There's a ton of things you can do in here. Uh, you can actually see the real-time coolant temperature and you can actually drive with this display um, in front of you so you know what your coolant is, you know, if you're having issues with that. Uh, you can see actual uh, outside temperature, uh, engine revs, uh, you can test uh, the gong and like all different sounds in the car. You can even adjust the fuel consumption display so your fuel consumption is always shown correctly and it's not over exaggerated. There's a ton of other things you can do in here. So I'm going to make a, a separate video since it's going to be probably, you know, 8-10 minutes long just going through all the menus. Uh, check that video out. I'm going to put a link in the description and make one of these cards in the corner pop up. So that concludes the list of the hidden features on my BMW Z4. I really hope you enjoyed the video or at least learned something new. Uh, fun fact before I let you go, this was the only BMW that has ever been developed by a group of women or maybe one main woman designer. Uh, so that's why she's so curvy. Maybe that's why I like her. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one.